So here we are by the pole. There's David. And there's a big ride up the top. And down there, that flume down there. Oh, there's those ones. Let's go into that pole. Okay, so that's quite deep as well. Though. Are you right there? Shh! Don't tell him that that's somebody else's Hello. wife. Fiona. Fiona. Oh, I'm going to be in trouble. Fiona. We've now arrived at our final campsite in Fuong, which is a few miles away from Quimper, which was a place we really fancied visiting. When we arrived, we were really tired, so we didn't bother to put everything up, just the awning, and then the next morning, we kitted it out with all of our stuff, including our gorgeous moon chairs. So here we are by the pole. There's David. And there's a big ride up the top. And down there, that flume down there. Oh, there's those ones. Let's go into that pole. Okay, so that's quite deep as well. Though. Are you right there? Shh! Don't tell him that that's somebody else's Hello. wife. Fiona. Fiona. Oh, I'm going to be in trouble. Fiona. So I'm just waiting for these nutters to get out of the way at the bottom of this slide, so I can go down. Yay! So that's that one then. So I have to go down first to clear the way in case anybody else is in the way at the bottom. Then David will then spin round and go down backwards. Bless you, I'm not doing that. for volunteering me for that. Having said that, the view at the top is quite cool and just down below us is the, shall we call it a restaurant here? What do you think? Uh, yeah, it's a pretty generous description. Bark, um, place with plastic seating and no food. There's the indoor pool um, as well and there's a play area a bit further around to the right hand side and you'll see the bowls area. Or bowls. Bull. Oh, Bull. Enough said. Done the big one and the three little ones. Is David up there again? I should mention. Um, remember these electrical cables I did mention last time. I didn't need this one on this side this time. This is our reverse polarity cable. But I did need not the reverse polarity one, but this type of connector. All right. Hmm. Luckily our mains cable's here, I'm not going to disconnect it so you can see that this plugs into these old style plugs. So that's the one that's non-reverse polarity and that one is. 
So it's not reversed, but um, it's still not connected to the new stuff. While I phone home and settle down to read my book, right. Steve, who's usually bored, is going to take his bike and have a pedal towards the beach because the beach and the proximity of the site to the beach is one of the main reasons for choosing this particular site. Enjoy. This is where I found it was quite empty. Now we also found that when the Caravan and Motor Home Club, or by the way, it's a toilet block on the right, when they do tours here, um, which they do, they actually bring people and parties over here, this is where they go. Uh, keep privately on there. It's completely empty. It's 1st of August today. It's filled there. It was empty as well. Football pitch up there. Okay, let's see what this is like. Too shabby, is it? Lifeguard for us. Oh, well, now we have where it is. I know I said before that I don't do cooking on holiday, but actually eating out every single day is just, you know, it's not practical because it's expensive. And expensive. It's expensive. I mean, for four of us on average, it's 100 euros a meal, um, you know, if you have two or three course meal and drinks. So what I will often do is salad. It doesn't get much. And as you can see with the caravan, it's all sort of spread out. Um, got some nice strawberries to chew on. Got a nice beer in hand. In the oven I've got a few things cooking and generally we just get chicken kebabs because pieces of chicken are huge and then I cook these and cut them into smaller slices and then we help ourselves so we have a sort of grungy salad really a bit of a mixed salad but it's much much cheaper to do this so find a nearby supermarket find what you like um, and there are just simple meals you can make and I will do this several times over the next week but we just have bread and croissants and yep. coffee in, in the morning. morning. Bread and croissants, I'll show you that. So if you can go to a supermarket, you can usually order them on site, but you'll pay a bit more. But this time we went to La Clerc and um, a special offer packet, I think you can see that. So four croissants and four pan of chocolat. That was, I don't see how much it was, I'm just having that, four euros. So half the price if you'd pay on site. So there are ways of 
making good savings if you're smart about it. So you can still out eat it out when you want to. Generally we'll eat out once a day, but we'll always in two weeks have two or three rest days around the caravan, usually to recover from long traveling. Like today, because we traveled a long way yesterday and we had two days of traveling. So today's just been, really been a rest day, We've just been to the supermarket. And then we'll start visiting tomorrow. And obviously if you're out, you generally want to have a meal, don't you? So here we go. Plus, I got all the lights up. And the table's made. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just show you this. Oh uh, yeah, coffee machine. Actually, they had uh, in the shop where we got all the food. There was a deal on this machine, and it was half the price it normally is. So, which is a step up from the one we got home. So, we'll be having that as coffee tomorrow. So yeah, lights. I've got lights, got LED lights going all the way around the place, and we also have a little freezer. Um, I don't know if I've told you. Oh, yeah. I've told you before the fridge um, inside the caravan is okay, but it's it's not good enough for six. But then yeah, so we'll go out and there's um there's our table ready for a bit of grub. Um, we have um, nets for our awning on this side. I have a little bit um, privacy this end and to hide that type of thing as well. Um, these mosquito bug repellent things. Um, we've been to quite a few places and these are a must. Um, we have two of them. There's one on that window as well. Um, I'm plugged into all the rest of our lights and stuff as well. But we've also got little mosquito plugs. Uh, the mosquito plugs are... here we go. One of those things. Okay. Yeah, and the see. reason we need them is that uh, um, we all get bitten by it, but I, I get affected really bad. If you can see, I've got... that's a bite. That's, that's normal. Good, good bite. Normal for me. I've got about four on my back and um, these will take weeks. Where we itch it as hell for days and then they'll take weeks to disappear totally. So it's really important for me that because I react so badly to mosquito bites that we have these just to try and protect myself. I've had as many as 40 bites on my legs before, all of this sort of size, and it's usually really painful. So we've got three of those, so yeah. Yeah, we're pretty much covered. We'll give those a sweep out, and you'll be surprised how many bugs there are. The biggest attraction, by the way, you see that LED light for the caravan? We never turn it on because that attracts all sorts of bugs, moths and God knows what. Now it's dark enough to switch them all on. And if you're wondering, no, that's not a party in our awning. That's the sound from the bar where there's a party. However, I have to say our disco lights are a lot better. That's it for this one. We hope you found it useful and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell. Thank you.